healthy. All right. Like this, you see this kid responding to each character he comes into contact with. And it's Cy Richardson and Harry Dean Stanton and Tracy Walter. And I think these great character actors. I mean, I think, I think that year Harry Dean Stanton did that movie in Paris, Texas. Yeah. Both shot by Robbie Mueller, right? So it's like, and, and like, you know, just that was sort of seminal, you know, it was such a seminal uh, independent movie actor as far as I'm concerned. So, um, you know, I, I think there was something about just the language in that and, and just the pace and the quality that really stuck with me. Um, how simply he shot it, how he handled those car scenes, and how smart he was about it. You know, it was just, um, I don't know where that guy came from. He didn't really do a lot before that movie. Uh, you can see it. You can see, you know, you can see uh, Pulp Fiction in that movie. You can see Napoleon Dynamite in that movie. If you watch the whole movie, you can see a lot of independent people who, who pulled from that. I can see my own work just how he sits back and trusts a shot in a wide and then sort of pops in and that's it. It's sort of the economy of what he did so well. What, what is it that you love about cinema? What does cinema mean to you? It's, like it's film that goes beyond just entertainment. It's film that starts a conversation. And a conversation doesn't necessarily have to be ideas. For me, sometimes cinema is a tone, or a quality, or a rhythm, or a place, or a face that I just haven't seen before. And it engages me in a way, it, it takes me, you know, the other thing I love most in the world is travel. <laughs> and I think cinema is like that. But it does feel like that, especially when, you know, you're a kid from the suburbs who doesn't know all of that, uh, and then you go and you start seeing movies like that. It, um, it's, it's a lot like reading in that way. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much.